Listen, I'm begging you to understand. One thing in life you got to understand, education is the key. Education is going to open a lot of doors. Education is your life. Now, right now, there's an old saying. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And that's what you have here at Kenilworth. The teachers here and the principal and the support service is feeding you for a lifetime. That's what you have at your grasp. Those are some of the things you have to do. Now come think about it in March. You're going to be faced with a challenge. Some of you are going to have to take the test. Now you took the test in fourth grade. My niece and nephew, they took, take, oh, I got to take this test. What what that mean? Well, let me just tell you. That mean a lot of things. That mean that people and your parents are counting on you to do your best. You can't just blow it off. Now, you're going to have the test in March. I had to admit the test. I know about the test. You have the test in April. Not only do you have to do it once, you got to do it twice. In order to succeed, you're going to have to put it where it got to be. Like they say, you got to have your game plan. Your game plan, you got to have your A game plan. In order to do that, it's up to you. You control your destiny, and that's what it's all about. So I'm happy to come and talk to you and talk about what it means to get an education. What it means to learn. You have a golden apple. It doesn't matter. Like I keep going back to that old story. It doesn't matter where you come from. You can't count me out. That's what I tell the students. When my parents told me, hey son, I can't help with your homework. I say, mom, I understand. I took the liberty. I took the time to understand what it means to go and get an education. You have to understand that you have to make a difference, not only for yourself, but for your parents, your grandparents, your uncles, anybody else that motivates you. Those are some of the things that you got to understand. You got to step up. In order to step up, you got to do the right thing. I didn't come here to talk about drugs. I didn't come here to talk about violence. I came here to talk about number one for you is education. Education is your key. Education is your lifeblood that's going to take you to the next level. So how many of you play sports? Okay. How many of you good at sports? That's what I'm talking about. In order to be good at sports, now you got to take your game to your A game. See, in, in the old days, you could do sports and didn't have schools. It's okay. But now you got to have both. You got to have knowledge. Like I say, remember my roommate James? He, he, didn't, he had everything that God gave him. He had the talent. But he forgot the most important thing. You got to have the knowledge to go with it. And today, you got to have both. You got to have the knowledge and you got to have the gift that God gave you. So I'm going to be closing right now. And I'm going to be saying two things for you. There's one thing that you got to understand is that you got people counting on you. Not just for yourself. And if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your mom. Do it for your dad. Do it for your grandma. Do it for some people that's counting on you, that brag on you every day. That I got a granddaughter, I got a child going to Kenilworth Middle doing well. Going to be going to high school. Going to be going to college. Be going to make a doctor, a lawyer, whatever you want to be in life. You have that opportunity to do it. So I'm going to leave you with a little prayer. It goes like this. The will of God will never lead you where the grace of God cannot keep you. Thank you. Good, good afternoon. My message for the young kids to stay in school, why it's important to get an education, why it's